Hi, my name is Rachel Oswald. I'm a foreign policy reporter for CQ Roll Call in Washington, where I report on congressional oversight of the State Department from Capitol Hill. For my 2015 uh, Pulitzer Center Fellowship, I traveled to Russia in the summer to talk with uh, Russian military officials, retired, former uh, members of the Duma, and a number of scientists about the state of nuclear arms control, non-proliferation, and nuclear security. What I learned during my approximately three weeks in the country was that um, people were very concerned about the breakdown in strategic relations with Washington. Nuclear cooperation between Russia and Washington had been one of the um, most positive outcomes um, following the collapse of the Soviet Union when Congress approved billions of dollars in financial assistance to Russia to help it secure um, much of the large stocks of enriched uranium, uranium and plutonium that were vulnerable. Um, and the cooperation from that effort had extended to third-party countries, and uh, there was there has been ongoing work to secure some of those nuclear materials in other countries, but recently um, Vladimir Putin decided to cancel that cooperation. And so that has been discouraging to a number of Russian scientists working on it, as well as to scientists in the United States who are still concerned about the potential um, for terrorists to acquire some of this um, Soviet-era nuclear material that isn't fully accounted for, though most of it is accounted for. Um, one thing that I learned that I found troubling was concern about um, uh, whether Russia would come forward um, through, through official channels or backdoor channels to confide in U.S. officials if it learned that any nuclear material had gone missing. Uh, the Russian economy is in a very bad state now, and um, I think that's going to continue to get worse. Um, all indicators point so. Um, there's been concern that um, amid that, that potential, uh, there's a higher potential for Russia to um, become lax on nuclear security. Now, Russian officials I talked to said that that's not an issue, that they would never allow that to happen, that uh, nuclear security will remain a priority um, regardless of what happens. But um, privately, I was told this is a concern, and I think it's something to continue watching. On the other uh, element, um, on arms control uh, and uh, nuclear um, communication, um, I talked to a number of officials who said they were concerned about the future of a number of uh, treaties with the United States, including the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, the New START Accord, and the potential successor to the New START Accord when it expires in 2021. So I think there's a lot more there that needs reporting, and I think the election of President Donald Trump is going to insert a greater degree of uncertainty into um, nuclear ties with Russia going forward, and it's definitely something to pay attention to.